Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to resize an image into a perfect square. Uh, I will do this because some sites when you upload images to them they actually distort the images when uh, creating thumbnails. So uh, I'm actually going to show you three examples. I'm going to show you an image with a colored background, an image with a white background, and an image with a transparent background. So to start, let's start with this phone here what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to get closer to the object so to do this I'm going to select the crop tool I'm doing this because when I resize the image I actually want more of the object to be visible and less of the background to be visible so I simply hold down the left uh, button on my mouse and I drag the selection and then I left click twice for the crop to take effect and now I go to image and I left click on image size and what I will do here is I will enter in uh, I well I actually want this image to be 1500 by 1500 but I can't do this with the image size tool because if I would I would have to uncheck constrain proportions and if I were to do that I would actually have a distorted looking image so instead I'm going to have scale styles constraint proportions and resample image all uh, with a check mark next to it all uh, checked off and as for option here I will just go with the default you can choose any of these options and this is pretty much self-explanatory since it tells you what each option does and in the drop down menu here I will make sure that pixels is selected and then I will just simply enter in 1500 where I have the higher number and then I would left click on OK and now I'm just going to zoom out for you so that you can see this image a bit better and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image and I'm going to left click on canvas size and I'm going to leave anchor in the center note that if I were to uh, click on a top right corner here I would actually uh, preserve the right corner which is not what I want to do because it will look off then the object would be sort of uh, towards the top right rather than in the middle of the square so I will just have the anchor uh, right here in the middle and I will change inches to pixels and for width here I will enter in 1500 and as you can see I have a uh, white sel a background selected here for canvas extension color uh, you can choose any color for example if you had a black background you, you can choose black or you can match the color which is what I will need to do here because I have a colored background so I will just left click on this square and then I'll get the eyedropper tool and I'll just click on the background, left click on the background to match the color. And then I left click on OK and I left click uh, on OK once more. And now I have a perfect square. And my image is 1500 by 1500. Now moving along to the white background image. Here I don't have to do any cropping because uh, the edge is actually right by the model here. So instead what I will do is I will just uh, skip to image size and I again I will enter in 1500 wherever the hi number is highest and that it would be here. And I will again have pixels selected and I will have uh, all of these boxes checked off. And I left click on OK and now I go back to image and I go to canvas size and I change inches to pixels and I change the width to 1500 and for the canvas extension color I choose white this time around and I left click on OK and now I will zoom out for you again and now I have a well proportioned image 1500 by 1500 perfect square and now as for a transparent background what you will want to do is you will want to open up your image and if the layer is locked you will want to unlock it you can see the layer window if you don't have it here just go to window and left click on layers so that the check mark is next to it and then you will see the window and simply double click on the layer to unlock it and then left click on OK in the dialog box that will appear and now I will crop again so that I get closer to my object and then I will just go to image and image size 
and I will again go with the higher number in this case it's width and I will enter in 1500 and again I have all the checkboxes checked off and I left click on OK and now I go back to image and I left click on canvas size and I change again to pixels and now I change the height to 1500 and as you can see I cannot uh, choose an extension color since the background is transparent and I just left click on OK and now I will zoom out so that you can see it and now I have an image that's 1500 by 1500 note that some sites uh, might not recognize a transparent background and they might cut in to the background so to fix this if you continue uh, getting uh, distorted images you can always go to your layer window here and click on create a new layer and then just drag that new layer underneath your image layer and then go to edit and then left click on fill and then just choose a color in this case I will choose white and I will left click on OK and now I have it with a white background so that's that thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com